Hello everybody, I am Bradman19 and welcome to episode 5 of our Jurassic Park Operation Genesis playthrough. We're going to move on to the second exercise. Let's go on in there. It is called Jurassic Classic and you notice a check mark? Yes, I have played it once. Uh, what happened though is I found out from the first few episodes that those things are super loud, at least the, uh, you know, the background ambient noises. So we're going to uh, redo this. Just for this one mission, the other three, or the other four came out exactly fine. Uh, but these guys are going to be redone just so we can make sure it sounds good. And I think that's just the right thing to do. As you might notice already, it's already much, much quieter. Which is, it's fine. There's really not a whole lot of sounds you gotta hear. I do love the music. And I do like the sounds of the ambient stuff. But that, you know, we don't have to have that stuff. So, alright, here we are. We are looking at... Isla Nublar. This is the original Jurassic Park Island. In this mission, you will create the classic park on Isla Nublar. You need to exhibit some of each of the following dinosaurs, Brachiosaurus, Gallimimuses, Velociraptors, Tyrannosaurus, and Dilophosaurus. Dilop okay, there we go. Alright, so we need four Dilophosaurus, five Gallimimus, two Brachiosaurus, six Velociraptors, one Tyrannosaurus Rex, and build one Safari Ride. Seems pretty easy. I think it probably be easier than that last one. So, uh, let's see. Let's put ourselves right here. Let's check the weather. Oops, maybe. It's supposed to be sunny for a while. Okay. I can deal with sunny. Um, I'm going to put our... Let's see. Very first thing we have got to build... The park entrance. It's funny how you like start with sixty thousand, but they immediately make you spend five thousand on your park entrance. Yeah, that doesn't seem quite right, does it? All right, there it is. We are ready now. Once we get some dinosaurs in. Speaking of dinosaurs, what do we have? Hello again. Dilophosaurus. Okay. Let's go ahead and send these guys on their fossil hunt. Uh, what's here? Velociraptors, Gallimimus, so two of our uh, of our five that we need are there. Site B, Brachiosaurus, Chimerosaurus, and Dilophosaurus, so two of our uh, five are there as well, but we already had Dilophosaurus, so it's really only one. Uh, zoom in here, whoops, not zoom in, info. Yep, Site B, this is where our Tyrannosaurus are. It's probably best to start here. Yeah, we'll put one. What? I can't add a team. They say they're not available. Okay, whatever. We'll figure it out. Um, let's see. Dinosaurs. I will go ahead and put our little. Yeah, our little thing right here. Hold on, let's make sure we can actually fit this hatchery in it, right? And, yeah, right here. It doesn't need to be super big, it just needs to be big enough just to hold that. And for the dinosaurs to exit, which is what I'm building here. There we go, perfect, nice little hatcher, you know, our uh, nursery paddock. There you go, that's a good thing to call it. And let's go ahead and get started. Let's uh, build a big enough area for a Dilophosaurus. I want to kind of put it. This be just off the path, like just a little bit. Let's go here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. We'll do a four by four. One, two, three, four, and come back. It's probably a little too big. I don't know. Maybe it's all right. We'll see. Um, everything looks perfect in there. Let's um. Or let's go ahead and order how many Dilophosaurs we need. Was it? How can I help? Uh, we need how many? There's the objectives. We need four. Okay, and luckily they're all at a hundred percent, so they're looking really good. There's all four of them ready to start coming. Um, what do we do here now? Uh, they're gonna need water. That's a uh, pretty apparent, right? Um. Oh, down here. Nope, still the wrong place. There it is, the build environment lake. 
kind of want the water to kind of run off this way and this to be an open area. Build. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased oh, they're to coming out. Let's look at them. Up oh, there he is. Where are you? Come here. There he is. He's so small, it's hard to get him in the frame perfectly. But yeah, there he is. He's like a he's stalking around. Doing the electric slide through there, obviously. Up here is another one. Come on. There he is. Look at him. Frill out and everything. Can't wait to see those guys spit at some stuff. Alright, um... Build a dinosaur. Let's put a carnivore feeder in here. Right there seems fine. They'll do goats. It's just fine to me. Uh, we'll also go ahead and build a path. Right through there. Uh, let's back that out. Build path. I just want a path right here. All right, and then we'll now build a ranger station right here. Message from the park warden's office. Thank you. Yeah, I'll learn how to take it up. Uh, your research teams are now waiting. I you might like some input. Absolutely. Weather guard seems to be good. Um, we can now open up the park. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen. Yes. It gives congratulations me on opening to your park. The newest wonder of the modern world, Jurassic Park. Now open. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick up these uh, Dilophosaurs. Message from Doctor Grant. Let's get in here now and fire one, fire two, fire three, and then the fourth one right there. Got him. All right, now it becomes the little tedious part of picking each of them up and moving them. Right. So we have four little Dilophosaurs just sitting there. Little, poor little guys. Won't be long, you'll be hunting in your new little enclosure over here. I'm gonna put them all down like right here. Hopefully they'll uh, pack up together because I think Dilophosaurs were pack animals. Not sure. I think so. Um, something to know, though, about the uh, difference between the uh, movie version and the in real life version. The in real life version is much bigger. They're actually large, you know, about the size of what the uh, you know they're they're bigger than a human by a lot. So uh, the movie, you can kind of explain that away a little bit but yourself by sitting there saying, well, maybe they were just juveniles. So, I mean, that's cool. Um, the other thing is, Dilophosaurs, they, th they don't think they actually spit poison. They might have been like the, uh, the Compi, which, you know, the little itty-bitty uh, chicken-looking dinosaurs uh, from the second, third, and uh, I don't think they were any in the fourth movie. But, um... Those little guys, they actually, you know, they had poison in their bite where, you know, like their spit was like poison. Not like they could spit, but, you know, saliva, whatever. And they say that maybe the Dilophosaurus is closer to that. But um, in Jurassic Park, though, there's also the thought that, well, these are genetically engineered and mutated Dinosaurs, they're, they're not, act, you know, they're not going to be a hundred percent true to what was there, you know, in the Cretaceous or the Jurassic. So, um, these guys may actually have not had, a, you know, the the frills either. They may not have had that huge, you know, the big frill-looking thing around their neck. They may not have had that as well. So it's pretty unique just to think that, you know, maybe they took some creative, uh, some creative stuff to make them for the movies and. You know, even for the book, which is an awesome read if you've never read it. Uh, I definitely think you should at some point. And let's go ahead and build one more little attraction here. We want a viewing vent. There we go. It's kind of off a little bit, but it's okay. I think they should see plenty of them. The 
thrill Hello. on that one. Put the thrill on that one because they're both because uh, they're all these, you know, what do you call them, dinosaurs? Uh, they are carnivores. Fossil market. Oh yes, we do have a styro source. Let's sell that. Now, did they let me put that team out there? No. Where are they? Not there. Oh, there it is. It's way up here working on T-Rex. I don't want that. I want them down here working on Velociraptors and, uh... What did we say it was? Uh, Gallimimus. Yes. That's some money left over right now. Um... I should put that on a cleaner station. I don't want to put him too close. And then let's go ahead and put a uh, let's put a restroom right here. Always good to have those facilities in there early on. There's only four people in the park anyway. Now then, I'm going to kind of path this here. So that's one, all right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe a little bit, it may be a little bit too big, but it's okay. I kind of want to put a little middle ground area here for like the uh, like a burger stand and like a rest area and stuff so also probably want to put a nice little security center in there as well let's do this here and of course we want another restroom so that's two Dude, there you go. Perfect. Hi there. These guys are not going to sell sandwiches. They're going to serve Rex burgers. And we're going to charge $22. And they're going to come with a fun fry. There we go. Fatten them all up. Fatten them all up. All right. I think everything looks good right now. Um, oh, look at them. They're, oh, they're playing. Let's get a goat out. I want to see you attack a goat. Come on, there's a goat. Look at him all the way over there. What are you? What are you? He's just wandering. He's a, he's checking out everything in his uh, domain here. This is actually the uh, leader here in the water. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Message from Doctor Grand. Just kind of stalking stuff. Um, let's see. Next, let's work on some binoculars so our people can see the dinosaurs better. All right, these guys are they're just kind of herded together. Oh, that's. Let me see if I can get. Can this little thing over here see him? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That actually might be the thumbnail for this one. I actually like that. Oh look, you can see him! There's the goat. The goat came really close to him just then. These guys just want to kind of stay and play in that water. That's fine. There's a goat here. I want them to go after the goat. There's multiple goats and they're not wanting to do anything with them. Message from Dr. Grant. Okay. We'll take that. Let's go here. Uh, Dr. Grant found Homolosophil. It's not something that we want. So we'll go ahead and sell those fossils. Looking for Gallimimus and Velociraptor. Which it could take a while to get what we want. That that's a 
That's the surprising thing. It, it's it's almost like it's all random. You have no clue what fossil you're going to get next. It's at 28%. This is at 34. Come on, there's a bunch of little guys over here. You? There they all are. You heard him? What was that about? He just started running out of nowhere. There's a goat there, and a goat there. I mean, I've got two of them right. I got three of them right here in sight, and none of them want to go after him. Oh, huh, I wonder why. They're just kind of sitting around playing. Come on, guys, go, 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 attack him! This one's getting close. I'd love to see them do like some group tactics to take out a goat, though. Come on, somebody go use spit. <laughs> I think they're... There they go. I think he's going after... They chased them all off. They killed one just now. And we missed it. Oh, they're eating over eating it over here though. Oh well, we'll catch it later on, I'm sure. Okay. This is all good. These guys are cleaning. These guys are just kinda hanging out, waiting for people to come. Still bringing people into the park. Um, I guess I can go ahead and pick up a new fossil team. Cost me 5,000. We'll zoom in. We'll put them right here. Should make that team work quicker. Maybe they can find me some Gallimimus and Velociraptors. Would really like a Velociraptor. I think those are level 5, right? Uh, where's my Dinopedia? Nice for species. Let's take a look at small carnivores. Oh yeah, they're level they're they're fives. Even like Gallimimus would be fine though. Those are level threes. So both are good. Alright. There are so there's like one, two, three, four, five goats. Alright, we found Hamalops those things, yes. Yeah, you're leaving without enjoying the dinosaurs, I know. That's at 47, that's at 37. The engine board is quite satisfied with your management of the park for this quarter. Good, good. Don't fire me. We are, uh, just doing our job. Nice. Um, yeah, go to, let's do a cash machine next. Um, while I'm thinking about it, let's look at the weather. It's still sunny through May, so uh, we have time to get that uh, visitor shelter if we need it. Come on, somebody, somebody be hungry. Yes, he's hungry. So yeah, that means you should go hunting. goes. Go ahead and lead the pack guy. Come on. <laughs> Think for yourself here. I'm following you around like a drone. He's just run trying to run away from me, I guess. 
Oh, did you hear him? Sounds like a little bird. Well, that's not cool. Um... Message Hungry? Oh, look at him. Here he is, so close to him. Spit on him. He spit, but we couldn't see it. Yeah. Come on and eat some. Yeah. That's yours. Oh, look at the blood. That might be the thumbnail. <laughs> I don't know, we'll fig I'll figure that out later. But still, that's pretty cool. What should we uh, do ooh, Gallimimus remains, and they're medium. Good, let's Absolutely. extract it. Should get about 8 to 10% off that. That'd be pretty good. Nice little jump start into them. Uh, these guys just caught a really cool event, so they should be really happy with that. Alright, Ranger Station's good to go. In case we find anything. Urgent message from John Hammond. We just... Yeah, performance feedback. Your park's rating has increased to half a star. So that means we are going to now up Welcome. the cost. The 220. Not a whole lot, but it's enough. Definitely trying to justify our expenses here. 14 people in the park. So I think it's worth it. There's about to be 13, though. Uh, I think we add it. Nope, just barely hit thirteen. Message from Doctor Wu. Yeah, my miss is at twelve percent. Pretty good. Maybe that was. Let me let me check something. Maybe I read that wrong. Thanks. Yeah, it was a medium. I I just thought for a second maybe I looked at it wrong. All we have available even by is a low quality T Rex. Uh, Beamer or whatever that is. From Dr. Grant. Flaming Cliffs have found nothing. Oh man. It's average, it's good, it's still fine. Even after it's exhausted though, we can still find stuff. But uh, we'd want to keep moving on if that happened to us. It's at 55, that's at 47. We're at 17,500. So our money is still awesome. I mean, I could go in there and go buy another team, but I think I'd wait just a second. Let me see here if I can get an idea about the weather. It's still sunny. How's that research going? Oh, he's almost done. I guess after that, I'll go ahead and take on... Uh, Probably medium fence. The Dilophosaurus should really be behind a medium fence right now. We're just lucky that they don't have a... They're not trying to get out. So... That's what we'll do next. We'll actually increase security, because let's see, what what is security? Where is my security report? There it is. Yeah, it's, it's right in the middle of good and bad, so... We can make that better, though. We definitely don't, we don't need like the cameras or none of that stuff, we just need to, need to keep an eye on all of it. Ladies and gentlemen, should you find yourself yeah. cash, cash machines are now located at the park entrance for your convenience. Okay, let's go in here, let's do a uh, no medium problem. fence, that'll cost us a thousand. Message then, from Dr. Grant. Ooh, Gallimimus. It's, they're low, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? We gotta get those suckers all the way up to about 100%. The T-Rex and Brachiosaur are different. You know, we could probably spit both of those out within like six months of each other, and they'll be okay. I mean, it's not like a longevity type thing. They're not gonna live forever. So, that that's the unfortunate thing. We need to make sure we're... When we're ready to get the Brachiosaur or the T-Rex put in, or even any of them, to be honest, we need to make sure that we're ready with uh, round two. Let's see. Let's 
guy's just kind of chilling out on top of the pad. What are you doing? Wandering, okay. I love how that's a little, that, that's something they're, they're doing. That's their activity. They are wandering. I would wish they would call it like explore. Yeah. Some problems with our attractions. Many visitors are leaving the park without seeing much dinosaur activity. Well, there's only four of them here. Gallimimus is at 18%. If I can get a couple Gallimimus in, though, things will pick up. Thinking I might put Gallimimus over here. Velociraptors here. Brachiosaurs would go over here. And then T-Rex, like, in the back. And I'd do that because it would help with crowding, for one. And it would just be nice. it just look good. Plus, these guys can double up. There'd be a viewing platform for thrills here and here. These wouldn't mind so much, but still. Same kind of concept. Alright. They found gold. There's gold in them dear cliffs. Okay. Took that one. Uh, let's go ahead. Fossil hunt. It's going to cost me, yeah, 10,000, but I think it's worth it to get another guy working. And we won't, we were not going to, we're not going to buy another one for a little while. I just want to get some more fossils heading in, or at least quicker. That goat is swimming. Look at him go. Yeah, you better breathe. There he goes. Okay, he's out. Oh, I find that a little funny. The goat runs along the bottom. He can't swim. I wonder if a Jurassic, uh, Jurassic World Evolution is going to have that in it. You know, we haven't really talked about that a whole lot. It, it looks good from the uh, little bits I've seen. Mostly just the trailer. But it looks really good, and I'm definitely going to play it. I just need to. Yeah, I need. I definitely need to get on that list. Um, I know uh, some other YouTubers have been approached by uh, by the developer, and the developer is kind of tapping them for early access stuff. And I'm maybe gonna try to get us on that list too, so we can all maybe enjoy it. Up oh, here we go. See these guys. Okay, maybe you guys are playing? Oh no, you were separating them. Or not. <laughs> you just let them get away. It says you're hungry. Let's get right up here. Come on, spit. Oh, did you see that? The green. <laughs> what would you like us to do? Uh, they found gold. Let's go ahead and sell it again. They're going to keep us in money with all this gold, but I don't have anything to spend it on. Except for maybe going out there and uh, going on the fossil market. Chimera, Amber. No Brachiosaur or Velociraptor, but there are Tyrannosaur bones. 10 and 5 and 6. Yeah, that would set me back a pretty penny, but it would still be worth it, I guess. Let's purchase that. Certainly. Let's purchase that. This will save us some time. Alright. message from Dr. Wu. Dr. Wu, medium security fence done. Let's go in there and uh, complete something else. Let's do. Uh, let's okay. do a souvenir stand. And checking the weather now. Thunderstorms coming in July. It's good to know you're keeping an eye on things. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're going over here. Let's uh, extract okay. that. Let's extract that. 
So we're thinking about, what, 18%, maybe 20% if we're lucky. I don't think we'll get that lucky, though. Alright. Again, anything we can get that'll get us closer to those five stars is good for us. There they go again. Looks like they're on the hunt. Okay, maybe they stopped on that hunt. I don't know. Message from Dr. Grand. I wouldn't mind if they culled a little bit of the population there. A lot of goats out there and just running around. What would you like us to Ooh, Gallimimus remains. Oh, and it's a really high quality one. Hopefully we'll get to about 34%. And yes, ma'am, that little lady yelled out, woohoo. I agree. I uh, sell that. There we go. Some much needed funding. How much would it cost to upgrade? 7,200. Uh, we'll wait it out just a little bit. Somebody killed one of them. One of these, I think he killed this guy here. Alright, well guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this one right here. I think, uh... We've done quite a bit for the first episode. We put in a new dinosaur. We've kind of set up the foundations of the park. Um, we're getting really close to getting another uh, dinosaur, I think. Uh, maybe, if not in the next episode, the one after that. But we'll definitely get some much-needed fossils. So, all right, guys. Appreciate you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you guys next time.